everybody, Frank Shamrock here, and yes, the heat is hitting the ceiling. I'm in San Jose, California at the SAP Center, and as you can see behind me, something extraordinary is happening. For the first time ever in the United States, we're having a ring and a cage at the same time on the floor. What you're gonna see on Saturday night, not only is a title fight to find out who the light heavyweight champion of Bellator will be, but you will also see a throwback to a four-man, one-night tournament. That's not all. Glory Kickboxing will also be featured. Hoist. Talk about, let's talk about the tournament, and let's talk about the level of athleticism yeah. in this tournament, in Bellator MMA Dynamite, light heavyweights, world contenders. How hard is it to get through a four-man tournament? I think the main thing is not to get hurt, don't you think? Yeah. For you, yeah. did you ever get hurt? Get I was hurt? always hurt before the fight, and then I would go <laughs> in hurt, and then I'd get more and more hurt. What about the pressure? of the winner of this tournament knowing they're gonna fight the champion or the winner of the championship battle. How would you feel? <laughs> I'm retired, man. It's all crazy to me. It's all crazy. I mean, it's a, I would say they have to take one fight at a time. It's that night. You gotta fight that night. It's like, you, you think the guys that going one? in have just that first fight in mind? Or do you think that they're looking ahead at, hey, if I beat that guy, I beat that guy? Or do you think they're looking I ahead? Say, I would say the team now. The coaches are the job. one who have to take that. The fight, we are just fighters, we are just a machine. They tell us what to do, how when to warm up, we just get up and do it. Okay, main event, it. main event. Tito Ortiz, MMA legend, coming back against Liam McGreary, defending his title for the first time, but arguably the toughest light heavyweight in Bellator. He's been knocking people out, he's been submitting people, he's training with Henzo Gracie, we know his pedigree. Who do you pick in this fight and why? Man, Tito Ortiz got a lot of experience being there, done that, knows what he needs to do. Um, very good grappler, very good takedowns, ground and pound okay. against the young blood, Liam McGee, who is a submission expert. Man. He, last fight, he put up a show on how to do a submission. He went from one to another and stuff to pick one. They're both very good fighters. I hate to pick people, man.